Okay, so the University and College Union has called a national pay inequalities uh, dispute um, and there are three institutions in Liverpool that are on the picket lines today and this is the second day out of eight days of strike action that's been taken across the country at universities. Over 60 institutions are out, uh, including three in Liverpool. And we're here to end the gender pay gap, to end casualisation and to make sure that we get a fairer pay deal going forward. The workloads in higher education are getting too much. People are working weekends, people are staying late in the evenings and it's becoming unsustainable. Um, so we're really glad to have loads of support today from people from other trade unions, from the Labour Party, from students, graduates and staff and colleagues from across, um, across all of the institutions here in Liverpool, including non-teaching staff. You know, people often forget um, about the non-teaching staff who have been so supportive and who also are affected by all of these really big important issues regarding uh, fair worker rights. I'm going to give you three examples um, from the University of Liverpool recently, or sorry, alleged examples um, from the University of Liverpool. It was alleged that when the university was asked how they were going to solve their gender pay gap, the first suggestion was to outsource the low paid cleaners and that would make the statistics look better. You may have seen that just before the strikes, there were coded threats directed at students not to cross picket lines. In particular, our most vulnerable students when they are threatened about their tier, um, their visas. It was suggested to our migrant students that if they did not cross picket lines and they did not go to lectures, that attendance monitoring would not record them being there and that might threaten their visa. You remember that when universities want to say that staff are the ones that don't care about students, when it's universities who will make coded threats to already vulnerable students. And then there's the final one. It was suggested last year that students living in private accommodation who were getting into arrears with their rent would face academic penalties for non-payment of rent to those private providers. So when I'm seeing a, a sign, we stand with our teachers, when I'm seeing close the gap, when I'm seeing we deserve better and it can start today, casualisation, can you not? We are here despite how toxic and awful those equal pay, you stay, yeah, yeah another meme, um, but we are here and we are standing against these toxic managers and we are here together as a city and we are here together as a national union because before these strikes, when we were conducting these ballots, I was told by our university representatives we wouldn't get 20 branches out. <laughs> Who's laughing now? We have 60 university branches out all over the UK. <laughs> Solidarity with university workers at Strathclyde University yesterday, and I'm delighted to be here. And there's an awful lot of you here. There's two and a bit weeks to get out and campaign to change the government of this country. And I hope that everyone here will commit to going to a marginal seat to campaign to kick out the local Tory MP and deliver Jeremy Corbyn to number 10 Downing Street on the 13th of December. Well done for being here and showing solidarity and being part of this movement. We need more action on the streets like this in the next two weeks because what do we want on the 12th of December? A Labour government! Comrades, we need a government that doesn't just respect people up and down this country and invest in our economy. We need a government that respects education, a government that values education not just 
for what it can do for the economy, for what it can do for all of us, and what it can do for society. And when you look at higher education, how can it be right that university vice-chancellors earn hundreds of thousands of pounds whilst other university staff are forced to rely on food banks to feed their families. That, comrades, is an injustice that a Labour government will put right. <laughs> Solidarity, comrades.